Hello and welcome back to Dollar or Less Food. Today we're going to do a video that's going to be on the, on the shorter side because I know some of my metrics that people typically only watch about a minute into my videos. I mean, the people are clicking off, people are watching the whole thing, I don't really know, but we're going to do it fast, fast, fast. Keep it going, 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 going. The other day I saw a product I've never seen before. It's absolutely amazing. I saw a $1 stack. This is again the great value brand from Walmart, and yes, it was exactly one dollar roo. Open up the can, it's just a regular, it's basically a can of Pringles. I feel like it's the exact same size. However, it's a great value brand, so I've never seen it. But I like cheddar cheese Pringles, they're my favorite. And I thought I have to try this one at home. Yes, shirt reference. Haha. <laughs> Let's stick our hand in there. Take out some Pringles. It was folded all the way to the top, like to right here. Like a regular Pringles can, no air. As you can see, I'm gonna, I just grabbed a stack, as you can see. When I look at them, they don't look at and have the same covering as a regular Pringle. On the top, they look just about regular. But when you flip it over to the back, you can see that there's a lot less cheese cover on the back. So that already seems like it's have less of a flavor and it's not as good of a sign. But don't judge a cracker or chip by its color. Let's see how it tastes. Try another one. Overall, it's kind of weird. The initial taste tastes kind of like you're eating like a low-fat version of a Pringle or something like that. Where the chip itself <coughs> has that same potato-y taste, but not as strong. And they can get taste not quite as good. And also the, the cheese flavor. Significantly less flavor of it than the regular Pringle. And I'm not one to do this on camera, but who cares? But even when you lick it, it doesn't have the same flavor. It seems as if when they just spray these over, they use a lot less to cover more chips for less. Like even the bottom of this one, this one looks like it's just not even touched. It just looks like an original Pringle. And that's the one thing about Pringles, is they're very flavorful. So. That's what you'll get for. These, however, have very little flavor. And the flavor I get, I'll put these back in the tube. Again, the flavor itself isn't even as good. It's very light flavor, and it just tastes very, very artificial. It doesn't give you that nice cheddar cheese flavor. It tastes like processed cheese spray. I mean, you can see there's even any cheese in it. Yeah, contains milk, so there's some actual cheese in this, I guess. Hmm, there's lactic acid and citric acid. Hmm, yay! Overall, though, for these one, so six, there's six of these in the six servings in the tube. Each serving 150 calories. Little, like legit, only one gram of sugar, nine grams of fat. It's a little high for fat for the chips. And high in sodium too, for 7% of your daily value for just these chips. Again, there's less than regular Pringles, but there's less cheese taste, of course, so what do you expect? Overall though, guys, I would not recommend these at all. They're not as good as Pringles. They're not even close to as good as Pringles when you adjust for cost, because sometimes you get for $1.50 a whole tube, so save 50 cents, it's not worth it. Overall though, Chip doesn't taste good. The taste, give, the little cheese taste, now I've had it, is get, gives you an aftertaste of it, not an initial flavor rush. And the aftertaste is just kind of like mellow and blah. So, I gotta be honest, I think I'm just gonna give you solid <coughs> 2 out of 10. If I was on a deserted island and needed something to live off of, just give me a little bit more energy for the day, I'd eat these, but I might be going towards the sand first if I'm on an island, let's be honest. Probably not. These are probably better than sand, but don't you say when you get sand in your mouth? I know it's a weird tangent, but eh, what can you do? 
Overall though guys, I would not recommend these. This has been Dollar or Less Food. I've been trying to make this video a little bit faster, a little bit shorter, but if you like it, let me know. If you don't, I know this video does not have a lot of humor to it like a lot of the other ones have, but just... There. Humor. What can you say? I wouldn't recommend these, but what you gonna do? This has been Dollar or Less Food, and I will see you... Next time.